If you want to know how to have elite passing like that, then stick till the end of the video. So guys, I have done whole lot of tips and tricks videos in FC Mobile, and today I'm going to continue that by doing a passing guide for you guys. Make sure to like and subscribe because I have a whole lot of videos coming up for you guys. Now, I'm going to start with the normal passing. Now most of the time, you're going to be using normal passing, so it's important to actually know how to pass and not turn over the ball. So when about to make a pass, you should always consider your joystick placement since it will tell the game where you actually want to pass the ball. Now when passing, try to avoid normal passing to players that are guarded and too far, since the opponent will have a good chance of intercepting it. Now, I don't suggest you guys use the lob passes, and I don't really find them effective, but the through lob is a whole different sorry, which I will be talking about soon in this video. Now, I actually suggest guys use the ground-driven pass. This can get the ball from a player to another the fastest, but it takes accuracy, but when done right, it can be super effective when used. Now this part of the video I'll be telling you how to master the through passings, which is the passing I use the most, I think. Let's take this clip for reference. I passed the ball four times, and they were all through passes. That's how good the through pass is. Now here I'm going to share a tips that probably caused me to score hundreds of goals in FC Mobile and FIFA Mobile. When I'm facing the opponent's center backs, I always trigger run my left wing or right wing like this. Then send them a pass, here I used a through lob pass which seemed like the right choice. And guys, when wanting to through lob, I highly suggest you wait till it's half bar. And guys, always be careful when through passing around the edges of the field, since you could lose it. If you guys visited this video because you know you're struggling when it comes to passing and notice that you've been losing the ball a lot, then consider your team. Most of the time the center midfielders do all the passing, and if you don't have a good center mids, that might be the reason. I'm gonna go back to the normal passing factor, and it's about the give and go. I've realized a lot of people don't use it, but it could be effective if you don't want to trigger run. Now here's some great passing highlights.